Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving 12.3.4, get it right this time. This is my first drive on this, we're just doing our saluter route, it is Wednesday afternoon. Um, I probably won't have any of my normal test routes, unfortunately, I have 12.3.3, I was up in Michigan for that, and for 12.3.4 I will be up in Boone. I might do like one video going up the Boone. I will obviously on X, if you're following me on there, I will give updates just to let you know what's going on. The auto speed is still the same on this road. It's it's a 45 mile an hour road even though it says it's 25 and we're going 38. Um, so it's not correct either way. Uh, unfortunately 38 is at least fast enough on this road that where I don't have to intervene. So. We're gonna see what it does doing that. Uh, a small change to note, if it doesn't complain at me for touching the screen, it gave me an alternative route finally for this route right here. It gave me three alternative routes. One to go way around, one this way, one that, the one I chose, which is my normal test route. Notice it just went to the 45 zone. It could actually go up the 45 here, but maybe it sees the fog, maybe it sees this car right here and slowed down just a little bit. To me, totally acceptable. This is it's all that matters. Now, if it starts going like 55 in here, no. It should not be doing that. Especially in this area, there's always, like quite often, a cop car sitting here. Can't do that. I'm just looking for any small differences. This isn't like a particularly crazy drive. And so with these new versions, they're so good that this is kind of boring now. So. Apologize if it's a little bit boring, but at least hey, you get to see what it does. Last time we made the first time ever with zero interventions, so we're gonna see if we can do that again. That's new behavior. It's staying on the inside part of the turn. It's going faster though. If I remember correctly from the last time we did this, I think it was eleven. Uh, sorry, twelve dot three dot two. I want to say it's the last time we did this. It's going faster around the curves, and so that's great. I don't like. Like that, what it did was exactly how I would drive. Uh, so it's doing great so far. Let's see here. I'm going to try and do this as a one take. So we're going to get a fill in. But this speed is great. They, I think they're constantly adjusting the speed profile because by far, those are my most disengagements or interventions right now or for speed. Like you're over right here. Great. Totally good. I am also in the average profile. I made a post saying, hey, um, based on chill, average, or assertive is what it is, yeah. You should um, affect how the speed profile works. Assertive should speed basically all the time because you know that's what it's like there, cop car. He's waiting for you to speed. And if it's speeding right there, then I'm gonna stop. Uh, I will have to disengage. But I'm not getting a ticket today because this car wants to speed. We're also going through a school zone. It is 5.30, so obviously not during school hours. It slowed down for that crow. It saw the crow and slowed down. Look at that. But uh, let's see if it's gonna read the school zone and it appears to have read it and slowed down. If I had to guess or make perception here, it appears to be doing a little bit better staying in the middle of the road when you're going around curves. And the last update, that I had in the last two updates, it actually seemed to like cut off the curbs a little bit and get a little bit close to the edge. I don't know if I'll have time to do the crazy hill test, everyone, but that is, we had one disengagement the entire time. I don't think any other interventions the entire time, so very good performance on that, as long as you can make the one turn again. And if they're training as quickly as they are, they're releasing updates every week right now, then like maybe we're getting like all those things fixed. Like every single intervention it's looking at from customers and this massive data influx from all the free trials. Maybe that means that, hey, they are they are going to like rapid improvements. We'll see. Like it's already really, really, really impressive about what it's doing. Like this is good. This It checked for traffic coming from the right like a human would. You know, um, though it has to creep up a little bit further to actually be able to see that direction with the B pill. I still think a B pillar is a limitation. Is it going to stop robo taxi? No, it's not. May may it restrict the locations that it can be used in? I think it will. 
I, I think that's I think that's a real possibility. Let's see now. Darn it. Um, is it gonna turn? Okay, it is gonna turn. Okay, it's gonna go to the dot. So navigation ending. Let's see if it's gonna let me do this. Let's see. Go back across the high. Oh, it ended automatically. I think that's new. Let's see here. How's it gonna do this? Nope, we're going this way. This way. I know I'm what? This way? <laughs> Guys, it gave me the alternate route, but it's not doing it. Okay. Let's see if I can get... I'm trying not to disengage. That's what I'm trying not to do. Okay, we're going to have to dis... It, it seems like a bug that it wouldn't let me reroute. We want to go to the left, Tesla. I, I really don't... Uh, actually, you know what, guys? Let's go, let's go to the right. Screw it. Let's go to the right. Maybe Tesla just wants to force me to go that way just because it wants the data on this road. I don't know. Sure. So let it go what it, what it wants to do. Checking. And it went on the wrong road. <laughs> it went this way anyway. I wonder if it's a map data issue. It, that's interesting. I thought it was on the other road. You guys saw that. Well, it went the way we wanted to go anyway, but, um... Okay, well, next time I won't disengage. Guys, next time we won't disengage. There, There is a truck coming to my right. Two trucks. Oh, I wish you got here a little bit earlier. Yes, you need to creep slower and slower and slower. Now it can pro... It can see now. Oh, this is so good. This is even better than it was last time. Because it, it stopped and looked like a human would right there. The, uh, an important factor of the car is that it has... This is... <laughs> that's wrong. 40 mile an hour is not the speed limit here. Um, the car has got to feel like a human driving for the most of the population to feel comfortable using it. Okay, it about had to press the accelerator right there, but it decided to keep going, so that's good. I handled that little bit of construction super well. Now, we might save ourselves because we had these trucks in front of us. And because we had that cop car, remember? So they're looking for people speeding, especially to the school zone. That's, that's what they're looking for. It goes from a 35 to a 20. So we're in the 20 right now, and it goes up to a 35 once we're past the school zone. And people know that they look all the time here. That it sped too much last last time we did this. So I just I always have to watch out for a car here. And like guys that you guys complain about me speeding all the time in the comments or about me complaining about the car speeding, like I'm not unless you want to, you know, pay me some money for the ticket. And as long as you know not speeding too much to where I can just pay off pay a lawyer and pay the ticket, then I'm not speeding. Because I don't make enough money from this to speed. So, I'm not going to speed, everyone. Uh, not that much. Not 12, 15 mile an hour over the speed limit. It's absolutely unacceptable. So, not that's not happening. So, let's see. We have, obviously, two cars in front of us. It widens out. So, fortunately, it, doesn't, it isn't trying to pass them. We have a car behind us as well. I don't know why this guy is going so slow, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just spooked from the police car or something. But we did pass a 45 mile an hour sign. My, one thing I've noticed, and this is a little bit annoying from my perspective, is that the car is accelerating, not realizing the car in front isn't accelerating, and then it just breaks again. And so that is uncomfortable to a passenger me being that passenger and so i don't want to do in that and you used to like you know give some distance like i'm going 45 stay 45 that truck in front is likely and it is going to slow down and so i know from experience and this is what the ai will learn over time is that hey this car is going really slow they're probably an old person they're probably going i don't know they're obviously driving slow they're not 
not going to go very fast. So most likely if they get up to speed, they're going to slow down again. So don't go over the speed limit because you need to have a gap in between. They are very clearly not comfortable going around these curves. I don't know why. Fortunately, my car has improved on that. I guess, I don't know if they're going to the gas station here. Oh, it's wanted to get off in the road, but basically once we're past this bridge, we made it. So again, zero intervention drive. It's like we used to regularly get one disengagement on this route every single time, sometimes multiple. I think we've had like four or five disengagements on this little route before. And now we don't, not in, those are disengagements, not, not even counting the sheer amount of interventions we've had on this road. I'm in the net because we're just going straight. But again, impressive everyone, impressive. I don't know if I have any complaints. I mean, I'll put them in the, the chapters below, the like button. But um, I, I think this is as good as ever. I'm driving up to Boone. Okay, he's turning. That's probably why I didn't know where he was going or something like that. But we're probably, we're going up to Boone this weekend, so maybe I'll do a video going up there. I'll definitely post on X. If you guys have questions for me, put them down below. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.